I'm a game reviewer here, and I'm here to review a game called Oscar's Wrath that I've picked up today. And, uh, well, I haven't picked it up today. I ordered it from Amazon, and it came in the mail today. So I just want to say that I really enjoyed Oscar's Wrath. But I can see where a lot of reviewers are coming from in terms of the game uh, being a little thin on actual gameplay. I understand that uh, Osiris Wrath is meant to be enjoyed as sort of a uh, artistic video game, the way uh, Ico or Shadow of the Colossus would be considered artistic games, but the thing about Oscar's Wrath is that not only is it pretty much artistic considering it's a uh, stylized anime style and it's uh, really insane animations and game form, but also because it's, uh, it's an action game and the thing is, uh, when you think about an action game, you think back to Devil May Cry, you know, the original Devil May Cry, and how that inspired games like God of War, and a bunch of other action games, or action games like Ninja Gaiden, but what set, sets Astro's Wrath apart from those games uh, is the fact that about the game's it's, uh, mind, for the most really part, the world of Osiris Wrath is pretty impressive. Visual, the graphics are really well like done, the visuals the are awesome, and the cutscenes are over the top, and some of the best that you'll ever see uh, for the uh, Xbox 360 and PS3 generation. <clears throat> but again, as awesome as uh, Osiris Wrath, stylized, artistic uh, anime cutscenes are, and quick time events are, there aren't a lot of times that you actually get to enjoy the thrills that the combat system offers. I mean, the combat engine, it's good, it's enjoyable. But it's a nice you don't really get the full enjoyment out of it, considering how sort of like thin the game is on the uh, overall combat. But for the few action action segments that there are in the game are really well done, but for the most part, it's mostly a game that you're going to be watching and just. Uh, in awe the whole time of everything that's going on. So, for my final verdict of Oscar's Wrath, I would say that I have the 360 version, and apparently it uses the Unreal Engine uh, for its graphical style. And it's really well done, the graphics are really good, the animations are even better, uh, the action, the... Uh, animation, the sound design is really well done, great music, great voice acting, uh, awesome sound effects that fit the epic tone of the game, and as far as presentation goes, Oscar's Wrath really, uh, really delivers, you know, there's great, beautiful animations, graphics, uh, you see it in the cutscenes, the sound is amazing, and now I'm going to talk about the gameplay. As far as gameplay goes, if you like cinematic games like, for instance, uh, the Xenosaga series, or uh, Metal Gear Solid, you would get a kick out of Oscar's Rap because you're probably into the whole anime aesthetic and, you know, you, you don't really mind... Uh, you know, you don't really mind that it's, uh, there's not a lot of real actual interactivity in there, uh, as far as, uh, completing levels and fighting enemies go, but you do enjoy watching the cutscenes and being fully entertained by it, then Ostra's Wrath really delivers on that in terms of gameplay. 
But Exists. as far as uh, act, as far as action combat goes, uh, the combat system DS, it's well done. There's not a lot of variety that you would expect in an action game. There's not a lot of uh, the move. There's not a lot. There's no move list. You know, there's and not a lot of uh, as as customizable combos and options, like weapons. Really but you do get a fair amount of attacks. Pokemon, different kinds Japanese of abilities, like Osprey can, uh, so he can perform a uh, charge attack that sort of launches of enemies up uh, into the air, and uh, while the game comes with its you do get a uh, sort of like a, uh, of DS, like, they're sort of like punches, but he shoots them really out from his fist, so you get that, because uh, it like makes the game sort of like, like you know, a shooter that way. The names of these yeah, like the third person, you hold down the X button, and he would just like rapidly Pokemon punch, Pokemon. and the energy of those punches you, emanates from his fists, and they sort of hit enemies. Yeah, so you have moves like that, and yes, it sort of like coincides with the, with the overall story. DSI sort of like when you're in an action segment, you have uh, what's called a uh, burst US attack. DS. And burst attacks yeah, are basically really when you've fun. dealt enough damage to the enemies, the you can uh, as as you have a bar that meter that fills up and when that meter is full, well, that nice you initiate a burst keyboard. attack. And these are like basically attacks that yeah, make you get you one step closer to right defeating away, have boss have characters like or Pokemon just completely defeat them. Game and the game those are really well done. But again, not a lot of variety in terms of action in Osiris Wrath. Uh, but the few the, the times that you do interact and you are in combat, it's still oh, fun, them by typing their names you know, but don't expect yeah. any real uh, variety. <laughs> the quite clever and you um, play Asia and it even cost for you. my verdict no, on Osiris Wrath, if I had to give it a score, that's not bad at all. 1 to 10, that comes with its I would give it an keyboard, 8. And that's and pretty stand, high, yeah, considering yeah, what other reviews have been given it, but I see the game for what it truly is, like and it's sort Pokemon, of like, but that's not what it's, called. Well, you'd have it's to basically be giving tree. people a different <laughs> action experience, you know, like a cinematic action experience that has a really <laughs> awesome anime, uh, anime <laughs> art style, <laughs> and... The action is over the top. Uh, the cutscenes are over the top. Everything about the game is just over the top. And you know, if you like anime, it's like Beast, Dragon Ball Z, you know, or giant robot anime like Gundam, you'll love it. You know, there's times when you Osiris is actually fighting in space and he's like tearing airships apart, tearing planets apart, all of that, and, and, you know, you really feel for Osiris, not to mention he's a baby, and he's sort of made out of, like, some sort of, uh, sort of like, I don't know, sort of like metal, or, you know, like, or from the ground or something, but I see, I like it for what it is, so I give Osiris Wrath an 8 out of 10. Or the uh, overall anime aesthetic, the graphics are really good, the uh, animations are really good, the combat system could have been a much more of an improvement, but when you do actually fight it is still pretty fun and a fun beat em up. Um, so yeah, I give overall I love Oscar's Wrath, I give it an 8 out of 10, it's a real non rated game and you should pick it up. You get, if you ever seem like you should pick up a game, pick up Monster's Wrath. It's really fun, and it's cheap now. Um, so yeah, there's my review. Um, as for having an Monster's Wrath sequel, I think I would really love to see a sequel to Monster's Wrath because I love the world of Monster's Wrath so much. But here's a few things that they should add. Considering the current consoles... The 360 and the PS3 can't really handle, you know, the scope and ambitions of an Osiris Wrath sequel, since Osiris Wrath is already an you know, over, over the top game. I'd really love to see it on PS, uh, sequel on PS4, Xbox 720, 
but they should change it in a way that's positive, like the quick time events, uh, to make it more, more, uh, sort of like a necessity and not actually a gimmick. Make it where you get branching paths depending on how good or bad you do on certain um, quick time event sequences. Like, if Oscar is supposed to punch some some bad guy because that bad guy is about to kill an innocent civilian, you know, make it so that if Oscar messes up the punch, Oscar gets hit and he's somehow weakened during uh, the battle. You know, if he does hit the, if he does get the uh, action sequence, the quick time action sequence uh, done correctly, then Asura punches the enemy really hard. They go flying and, uh, you know, you get a small little power up in game. You know, little things like that. And also, I would love to see during the cutscenes, maybe if you mess up a quick time event, you know, events change in the game. That would make you want to go back and play the story to see how it could have unfolded differently. I think that would really work in, uh, in, in Osra's Wrath sequel. And also, the combat could use a little more customization. So that's about my that's about the main things that I want to see in an Osra's Wrath sequel. And I really would like to see an Osra's Wrath sequel because I love Osra's Wrath. For Xbox 360. Fact, I give it an 8 out of 10. You should pick it up. Okay, thanks. Bye. Oh, I remember that.